So today I'm going to do a little demonstration comparing the Stonewave microwave cooker, the Eggtastic, and a ceramic coffee mug to see which one is better at cooking eggs in the microwave. The two tests I'm doing in this experiment are scrambled eggs, and that's what they're calling them even though they don't look like scrambled eggs, and poached eggs. And here are my results. Alright, so let's take a look at it, see how all three of them did with the same recipe, same amount of cook time in the microwave, and how the container looks after I just dumped the eggs out without any kind of scraping. Here's the stone wave, and you can see how much residue is in there. This is the Eggtastic. There's a little bit more residue inside. Here is the coffee cup. All right, time for the taste test. Here is the stone wave egg. Hmm. Hmm. Eggtastic is slightly drier. Coffee cup. There seems to be almost no difference between the three of them. The Stone Wave has a very slightly different texture, perhaps because it's a little bit wider and flatter than the other two, but really, I don't think most people will be able to tell much of a difference between the Stone Wave, the Eggtastic, and the coffee cup as far as the first egg test I did goes. That one cleaned up pretty well. Let's try the egg test. Kind of a little bit awkward to get my hand in there. I might have to use a different brush. Something like this. Hmm, 
it's not really coming out that easily. Hmm. It's not cleaning up easily. A lot of residue in there, look at that. I'll go back to this, to this sponge. The scrub daddy sponge seems to do a better job. All right. It's just more awkward to put my hand all the way in there since it has a smaller opening and it gets wide. Well, the stone wave actually has a wide opening so it's easy to scrub in there. Okay, I think a lot of residue in there. Okay, this is going to be difficult to clean, I can already tell. All right, so as far as cleaning goes, um, I think Stone Waves was by far easier because it has that wide opening and you can kind of get in there pretty easily. The Eggtastic, the egg stuck worse to the bottom and I, it's awkward to reach in there because it starts small and gets wide. Coffee cup has a wider opening, but the surface was very prone to sticking to the egg. So in that respect, Stone Wave wins the cleaning test. Now, even though my cleaning test probably gave the advantage to Stone Wave, you can really kind of even the odds there by just spraying some nonstick cooking spray in the bottom of any of them the Egg Tastic, the Stone Wave, or the coffee mug. I would recommend doing that if you're going to be making eggs in any of those devices. I actually found that poaching eggs is pretty easy in both of these devices. You just need about a third of a cup of water, crack the egg in there, and it's very simple. Ceramic coffee cup, egg tastic, stone wave. Really, all three are pretty similar as far as how well they'll cook an egg. As far as which one to choose, I would just get the one that's the least expensive because they're all very similar. I would give a slight edge to the stone wave only because it has that cool handle. Eggtastic is a little bit difficult to take out of the microwave because it's slippery, has no handle, and you need to use basically two pot holders to handle it. Coffee cup would also be easy to handle. So between the Eggtastic and the stone wave, I would give a slight advantage to the stone wave. Of course, if you bought the Eggtastic, I'm sure you'll have no problems with that. Just keep in mind, these are as seen on TV microwave egg cookers, so I really wouldn't have my expectations very high. And if, that, if you do that, you'll probably be pleasantly surprised. I've used the Stone Wave for several years now, on and off, 
and it's been I don't think it's a bad investment you can find these things pretty cheap nowadays about five bucks I've seen them on sale I've seen them at the dollar store so keep your expectations low keep the price low and you'll probably find something that you use once in a while have you ever used one of these three techniques to cook an egg in the microwave let me know what your experiences are in the comments below and if you like this video I'd appreciate a subscribe so I can continue to bring you as seen on TV product reviews in the future. Until next time, this is James White with Freaking Reviews. Thank you.